Hey everybody, it's Mr. G again. Welcome back. What we're going to do today is something really, really quick. I'm going to show you how to convert a Thevenin circuit into a Norton circuit. Or a Norton's back into Thevenin's. So, Thevenin's, we have an example. This is the example that we did before. Uh, this was example, I think, example number one that we did in our Thevenin's calculations. So basically, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take that voltage source, so Thevenin's supply or Thevenin's equivalent circuit, and we're going to convert it into a current source or Norton's equivalent circuit. You can find this in chapter 8-3 of our textbook. So here's our textbook again, Principles of Electric Circuits okay, by Floyd and Buckla. So we're going to convert the Thevenin into Norton. It's really simple. It's based on Ohm's Law. Everybody knows Ohm's Law by this point. So what we're going to do is this. We know that R Thevenin and R Norton are the same value. They are the same um, calculation, the same procedure. So we're going to take this value of R Thevenin and we're just going to take it and drop it right here for R Norton. So 1.62K. The load value is the same as well. We're going to take the load value and drop it right here. 1K. So, what we now need to do is we need to convert this voltage, so Thevenin's voltage, into Norton's current. Real simple. Norton's current is equal to Thevenin's voltage divided by Thevenin's resistance. Take that value, pop it in here. So, in this particular case, we're going to take 3.24 volts divided by 1.62 kilo ohms and we end up with two milliamps so I Norton in this case would be two milliamps okay so again we're taking V Thevenin's 3.24 and dividing it by R Thevenin's 1.62 exponent to the 3 and that equals 2 milliamps. So 2 milliamps. So I Norton is 2 milliamps. In order to prove that these circuits are equivalent, we have to calculate the current through the load in each case. If the current through the load is the same, then these two circuits are equivalent. So for this particular circuit, calculating the current through the load looks like this. So IRL is equal to V Thevenin divided by R total, which is those two together. So that becomes 2.62K. So V Thevenin is 3.24 volts divided by 2.62K, and that equals, so 3.24 divided by 2.62K equals 1.23, 1 point, we'll call it 24, 0.24 milliamps. So in this particular case, the current through the load is 1.24 milliamps. So in order to make sure that this is true, this current here through the load must be the same. 
So in this particular case, we are going to use the current divider, and the current divider says that IRL is equal to 2 milliamps multiplied 1K, and then these two in parallel go on top. So 1.62K times 1K equals divided by 1.62K plus 1K equals. So this becomes 618 ohms divided by 1K equals times 2 milliamps. 1.23, so 1.24, 1.24 milliamps. 1.24 milliamps, 1.24 milliamps. Both of these circuits are equivalent. So converting from Thevenin's to Norton's, I Norton is equal to B Thevenin over R Thevenin. And that's how you pop that in. If we were going to go the other way, so let's grab one of our other circuits that we did. And we will go from convert Norton to Thevenin. Convert Norton to Thevenin. So let's find one of our Norton's examples that we did. So where is one of the samples we did for Norton's? There we go. There we go. We'll take this one from Norton's example number two. So Norton's example number two, we ended up with I Norton of 1.27 milliamps. R Norton was 2.93 kilo ohms. And our load in that case was 10 kilo ohms. So again, these numbers are taken from one of our previous examples, Norton's example number two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into a Thevenin's equivalent. So, the load is the same, 10K. R Norton equals R Thevenin, so that's the same, 2.93 kilo ohms. Now what we need to do is figure out V Thevenin. So V Thevenin for converting, so V Thevenin is equal to I Norton times R Norton. So if we take I Norton, 1.27 milliamps times 2.93 kilo ohms equals 3.72 volts. So 3.72 2 volts. Again, if these two circuits are equal, then that means that the current going through those loads must be the same in both circuits. So let's do our proof again. So finding the current through the load over here is always easy because it's a simple series circuit. So we can look at current through the load is equal to the voltage Thevenin divided by the resistance total. 
So that ends up being 12.93K. So that's this one and this one added together. And that will give us the current flowing in that circuit. So that works out to be 3.72 volts divided by 12.93 kilo ohm. And the current works out to be 0.287 milliamps. So we're going to then calculate the current in this circuit through that value and we'll figure that out and that should be the same. So in this case we're going to use the current divider. So the current divider is going to be the current through RL is equal to I Norton and some goes there and some goes there. We want to find out how much goes through the 10k and then we have to put the 2.93 and the 10k in parallel to see the top number. Whoops, this is a multiplication there. So we need to put these two in parallel up, up top so that becomes 2.93k in parallel with 10k. And that works out to be 2.93k times 10k divided by 2.93k plus 10 10k equals equals so that value up there comes out to be 2.26k divided by 10k times 1.27 milliamps. And that becomes IRL. So we got 2.26k divided by 10k equals times 1.27 milliamps equals the current is 0.287 milliamps I R L this current matches this current those two are equal that means that this is equivalent to this. So to convert, to convert Thevenin's to Norton's, you have to calculate Norton's current. And if you look, it's Ohm's law, voltage over resistance. When you're converting Norton's to Thevenin's, you're calculating a voltage. And if you look, it's Ohm's law. So it's very easy to convert a Norton circuit to Thevenin's and a Thevenin's to Norton's. Again, all laid out for you, chapter 8-3 of the textbook. Our textbook once again, Principles of Electric Circuits, Floyd and Buckla. I hope this helps. Everybody take care. And we'll see you again next time.